Okay, welcome to Bad Creek Pasture and jump on the bandwagon, apparently. We have one of those now. All right, <laughs> we're reading a story that we can't even say who's requested it because it's been requested more times than a, 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 a spider monkey in a, a jar of marmalade. Here it is. Abandoned by Disney. Um, your favourite person in the world wrote this, Toby. No. S Slim Best. <laughs> oh! Slim Shady Best. What a prick. <laughs> He actually he wrote on his forum about us once. He was like, um, "Yes." He was like, "Oh, those guys, um, you know, know it's a, know that I hate you's a troll story, but they they go, they gloss over that fact because of uh, more traffic, I guess." Yeah, yeah. I'm like, sure. "Yes, because you can read my mind." Yeah. So, like, like, yeah, we're doing this solely solely for mi all the millions of ad revenue yeah. dollars we're getting for this. Oh yeah. yeah it's so this, much is money. in a freeway fucking penthouse yeah. we're sitting in. In right a freeway now. partnership, I have not seen a fucking penny in like all the years. Freeway <laughs> bandwagon. Well, let's go on with it, it's going to take us out. <laughs> Fucking hours. abandoned by Disney, right? Screw it. Some of you may have heard that the Disney Corporation is responsible for at least one. <laughs> then in um, quotations, live ghost town. <laughs> okay. Disney built the Treasure Island Resort in Baker's Bay in the Bahamas. It didn't start as a ghost town. <laughs> they just sent in the people to wipe out the native inhabitants. <laughs> Disney's cruise ships will actually stop at the resort and leave tourists there to relax in luxury. This is a fact! Look it up! Look it up, bitch! Suddenly, I, I did a Google search on this motherfucker! Suddenly sounds like one of those like truthers, just like, World Trade Center 7 fell down without a single plane hitting it! This is a fact! Look it up! Disney blew 30 million dollars on the place. Oh god, fucking king of the ellipses already, dot dot dot, yes. Thirty million dollars. I like the way like I, 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 I did it in numbers and then words, yeah, just in case you couldn't read one or the other. I took the words right on my anus. Um, Ninjaed. Then they abandoned it. Oh, <laughs> oh! Wrong title credits. dropped. Wrong credits. But wait, who, wait, who would you say abandoned it? Disney blamed the shallow waters, and then in parentheses, too shallow for their ships to safely operate. And there was even... What, as opposed to, like, swimming pool? <laughs> there was even blame cast on the workers, saying that since they were from the Bahamas, they were too lazy to work a regular schedule. I forgot... Yeah, I was going to say, I forgot Disney was openly racist. <laughs> this, and they weren't just white. Watch, just watching Song of the South. <laughs> Walt Disney eating Cuban children. That's where the factual nature of their story ends, and presumably where yours ends as yeah. well. It wasn't because of the sand. It obviously wasn't because foreigners are lazy. Both are convenient excuses. This Both are true! <laughs> this wasn't a boating accident, alright? Boating? This wasn't no coral reef. This was a shark. <laughs> it was called Snacker. <laughs> dun -dun 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 -dun. Oh my god, get out of the water! And it's like coffee and mint, and I'm like, no, it's a bear. And a bird. What are you talking about? No. I sincerely doubt those reasons are legitimate. Why didn't I buy the official story? Because of Mowgli's Palace. Near the beachside city of Emerald Isle. So Emerald's <laughs> the Emerald City in North Carolina. <laughs> in the beachside of Emerald Hill Zone. Disney began construction of Mowgli's Palace in the late 1990s. The concept was a jungle themed resort with a large, you guessed it, palace! It was with the capitals. I'm not sure. In the centre of the whole thing. If you're unfamiliar with the character of Mowgli, then you might uh, better remember the story, The Jungle Book. If you haven't seen it anywhere else, you should know it as the Disney cartoon from decades past. Mowgli is an abandoned child in the jungle, essentially raised by animals and simultaneously threatened, pursued by other animals. Mowgli's palace was a controversial undertaking from the start. This is, I mean, we're making fun of this, this is actually quite well, well written so far, isn't it? <laughs> Disney brought up a ton of high-priced land for the project, and there was actually a scandal surrounding some of the purchases. When isn't there? The local government claimed eminent domain on people's homes, then turned around and sold the properties to Disney. At one point, a home that had just been constructed was immediately condemned with little to no explanation. The land grabbed by the government. Grabbed by the ghoulies. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> James, put, put a fucking grab by the ghoulies, but it's grabbed by the government up on the screen right now. <laughs> like an Xbox game. It was supposedly for some fictional highway project. Knowing full well what was going on, people started calling it Mickey Mouse Highway. Wow. We're creative. Then there was the concept art. Oh god, it was Yowie! A Not on your life. A group of stuff. <laughs> Mowgli X. <laughs> ex Baloo. <Yeah>. No! <laughs> Takes the meaning of bear to a whole new level. Okay. A group of stuff shirts from Disney Company actually held a city meeting. Stuff shirts held a meeting, my goodness. They, in they intended to sell everyone on how lucrative this project was going to be for everyone. Everyone? 
when they showed the concept art, this gigantic Indian palace, dot, 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 surrounded by jungle. Why dot, dot, is he dot, playing capitals? Staffed with men and women in loincloths and tribal gear, dot, dot, dot. Well, suffice to say, everyone flipped their shit. All the tables were flipped. All the chairs were flipped. They were I'm flipping, flipping everywhere, my flipping shit. it. God, loincloths. Who the fuck wears one of them apart from Tarzan? Did they flip their shit or did they flip the script? Flip mode. Flip mode is the greatest. We're talking about a large Indian palace, jungle and loincloths, not only in the centre of a relatively wealth, a relatively wealth area. What's I'll this? read that again. Not only in the centre of a relatively wealth area, but also a somewhat xenophobic area of the southern USA. Xenomorphs. It was That's why xenomorphs. Questionable mix at that point in history. One member of the crowd tried to storm the stage, but he was quickly what? subdued by security what? after he managed to break <laughs> one of the... Why? Was, was, was the security carrying me. guns in case they saw something that made them want to kill themselves? Why would a guy storm the stage? Oh my god, this is an outrage! Oh, I'm going to storm the Attractive stage and totally punch the guy in the face! What year was this supposed to be made? The 50s? Ridiculous! This didn't happen in Margate, did it? For God's sake! Disney took that community and essentially broke it over its knee as well. The houses were raised, land was cleared, but they, but I mean raised. Perhaps I've misinterpreted, but generally when I hear see the word raised, I think burnt to the ground. Mm. Like the, the, the <laughs> Disney Corporation sack a city. <laughs> well, <laughs> the, the descendants of Genghis Khan, Disney. Well, well, Disney did, you know, as as you for one well know, you know, create a mouse that suicided people, and Hitler used that in the war. You see, <laughs> they're gonna use it against it. But going back to your like rays, uh, I'm just going to picture like Vikings, but instead of like the horn helmets, they got the me, I think the ears, those Disneyland fucking hats. <laughs> it's like savages, it's like ties and Disney hats. <laughs> <laughs> so at some point, Disney they mixed up Mickey Mouse with Odin. This <laughs> is like. like you see much okay. Uh, I'm sorry. The C- one of the CEOs of Disney's like, I'm sorry, sir, but uh, the locals uh, rejected the idea. <laughs> they did what? I will make slaves of their children and rape their women. <laughs> Put them to the sword. So <laughs> like Disney executives doing a blood eagle on someone. All right, look at blood eagle if you don't know what that is. They li- don't. <laughs> they literally rub salt in the wound. They had dicks like that. And there wasn't a damn thing anyone could do or say about it. I mean, it. I, I, no, I guess the... Yeah, like, the horde. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they probably... Was Burning something. down those churches. Uh, local TV and newspapers were against the resort at the beginning, but some insane connections between Disney's media holdings and the local venues came into play, and their opinions turned on a dime. What? Because it's all part of a wider conspiracy, you see. Because Obama and uh, you know John McCain are actually two parts of the same two-headed beast that sit on the throne of hell. Whoa. So anyway, Treasure Island, the Bahamas. Disney the sunk Bahamas. those millions in and then split. The same thing happened with Mowgli's Palace. Construction was complete. Visitors actually stayed at the resort. The surrounding communities were flooded with traffic. And the usual annoyances associated with an influx of lost and irate tourists. Then it all just stopped. Disney shut it down and nobody knew what the hell to think. But they were pretty happy about it. Disney's loss was pretty hilarious and wonderful to a large group of folks who didn't want this in the first place. This is, it's just occurred to me, but this is paragraphed really weirdly. Like every, every couple of sentences is a complete paragraph in this story. Uh, yeah, you're right. I mean, it's not important. I just, I just noticed. Hey, anyway, I'm clutching at straws here because honestly the story's not, not that bad. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> <It's> okay. <laughs> um... <clears throat> I honestly didn't give the place another thought since hearing it closed over a decade ago. I live maybe four hours from Emerald Isle. Emerald Hill Zone, get it right. So really, I only heard the rumblings and didn't experience any of it firsthand. Then I read this article from someone who had explored the Treasure Island Resort and posted a whole blog about all the crazy shit he found there. I know who it was. It was Tom. It was Tom. (laughs) It was Tom. Stuff just dot 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 left behind. Things smashed, defaced... Probably ruined by the disgruntled former employees who had lost their job. Hell, the locals from all around probably had a hand in wrecking the place. People there just felt as angry about the Treasure Island as folks here did about Mowgli's Palace. Plus, there were rumours that Disney had released their aquarium stock into the local waters when they closed. Dot, dot, dot. Including sharks. Oh, God, it was the sharks all along! (laughs) Because, you, you know, they couldn't find someone to buy a shark. 
Because, you know, didn't they just like pissing away money? Yeah, because I, I can imagine there weren't any drug dealers around the area who wanted a fucking shark. I mean, for God's sake, if I was, I'm not. I would like a shark. Toby, you're Thank totally you. a drug dealer. Not only dr a I'm fucking drug baron. Like... Oh, yeah, a baron for Crohn's disease tablets. Come around, man, if you want to you cure Crohn's cured. Whatever words I was trying to say. Yeah, there. I don't know what you tried saying. It was like so you were a living creepypasta. You right said there. like if I wanted a Crohn's liqueur. <laughs> Crohn's liqueur. I definitely don't want to eat that. Yes. I mean, Toby no, makes him with his butt. Neither do I. Who wouldn't want to take? I was a like, it, they, like they let the. Sh I mean, this is Disney for fuck's sake. I mean, they've raised it. They've they've raised the city to the ground <laughs> and released sharks. <laughs> So, is he, I'm like, sorry, is this, when you type Disney, did you mean to type Umbrella? Yeah. Like, who's running, like, who was running Disney at this point? Scaramanga! Scorpio. <laughs> who wouldn't want to take a few swings at some merchandise after that and, I don't know, begin a sustained police investigation? <laughs> you could destroy it, or you could steal it and sell it and make money. Well, what I'm getting at is that this blog about Treasure Island got me thinking... Even though many years had passed since its closing, I figured it might be cool to do some urban exploration at Mowgli's Palace. Means looting. <laughs> uh, some urban scrumping. Yeah. <laughs> scrumping for cars. <laughs> <laughs> take some photos, write about my experience, and probably see if there was anything I could take home as a memento. He was going to steal. I'm not going to say I wasted no time in getting there, because honestly it took me another year after I first found out the Treasure Island article to get around to going up to Emerald Isle. So. Over the course of that year, I did a lot of research on the palace resort, dot dot dot, or rather I tried to. Naturally, no official Disney site or resource made any mention of the place because it's made up. That had been scrubbed clean. Fucking scrubs. <laughs> Get wrecked, scrub. <laughs> <laughs> no. e even odder, however, was that nobody before myself had apparently thought to blog about the place or even post a photo. Aren't none you of, special? None of the local TV or newspaper sites had one word to say about the place. Though that was to be expected, since they all... S they Balls. all swung Disney's way. What was that like a sexuality joke? Yep. <laughs> they wouldn't straight gay or Disney. Uh, they wouldn't be out there lauding their embarrassment, you know. Recently, I learned that corporations can actually ask Google, for example, to remove links from search results. Dot dot dot. Basically, for no good reason. Looking back, it's probably not that nobody spoke of the resort, but rather their words were made inaccessible. Go on Google, mate. This Pretend is actually set in the same continuity as 1984. Also, why Google's we, the only search engine. Yeah. Why don't we pretend, right, that we are the inventors of hentai and we want it all removed. All removed. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's just say, like, you know what, we're actually... Just say, like, we're, um, we're from Nintendo and we want all we want this image of um, Luigi, uh, who's pregnant with, um, a, rack, with a fucking uh, foxtail. Put it up on the screen, it exists. <laughs> no. Um, that's horrible. We want this removed from the internet at once. If I had to look at it, all you cunts of you fucking what it fifteen thousand assholes have got to look at it as well. Look at it! Look at it! Look at it! Look at it! I want all of you to look at it! Don't call our fans assholes. Cool, the genuine disgust on your face. It's not nice. We haven't got to that point. We're not fucking. Uh, what's his name? Oh, the guy who can't. Alright, gamer. D dark side Phil. Yeah, we're not dark side Phil. Oh my god, guys, stop using ad blocker. It's Come stealing. On. It but please, guys, ad blocker is totally stealing. Please don't use it. Yeah. <laughs> Unlike you. Do what you want, mate. Do we want? Do we want? Fucking little hand in the corner of my screen. It says twenty four next to it. And it's like. Damn it, where's the carpet app that I can sweep that under? <laughs> so in the end, and I could barely find the place. All I had to go on was as old as hell map I recently received in the mail back in the 90s, right? It was a promotional item sent out to the people who have recently been to Disney World. And I guess I see uh, And I guess since I had been there in the late 80s, that was recent, in quotation marks. I didn't really intend to hang on to it. It just got shoved in with my books and comics from my childhood. I'd only remembered it months into my research, and even then it took me another few weeks to locate the storage bin my parents had shoved it all into. But I DID find it! Of course you did. Locals were no help, as most were transplants who had what? moved to the beach in recent years, dot dot dot, or old residents who just sneered at me and well, made rude just gestures the it's... second I managed to say, where would I find Mowgli's dash dash dash? The drive took me through an inordinately long corridor of overgrowth. Tropical plants that had run rampant and overpopulated the area, mixed with the native species of flora that actually belonged there and had tried to reclaim the land. Is this one of them stories where if you take all the capital letters and you put them together, it, it makes something completely different? 
like John Cena. There's some real um, some real purple pros going on here, isn't there? Yep. We should actually grab all the um, grab all the capital at the end of the story. We should get all the capital letters, words, and see if it makes sense. That should be <clears> something. <throat> that should be something we make Toby do. Yes. I was in awe when I reached the front gates of the resort. Oh. Tremendous monolithic wooden gates. It's the monolith from 2001. Who supports? I was going to say it's the gates from Jurassic Park. <laughs> They so open up and then there's that we genetically engineered the dinosaur. You do realise that. Mark show all the dinosaurs <laughs> turn sake, invisible. Get over it, Matt. The movie sucked. Okay, whose supports to either side look like they must have been cut from giant uh, sequoias. Sorry, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Uh, I think sequoias are like the right... It's those, those super trees. I think that's uh, the right way of saying it. The gate itself... I'd actually never heard the word before. Really? The gate itself had been gouged in several places by woodpeckers and eaten away at the base by burrowing insects. Hanging, I think I said the image is quite nice. Hanging on the gate. Sorry, we're supposed to be making fun of this, aren't we? <laughs> fucking, mar- oh, fucking marvelous purple pros yeah. here. <laughs> Talk about those faggoty doors. Ooh, let's spend 20 minutes on that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the door was sexy. That's a joke we make sometimes. Hanging on the gate was a sheet of metal. Some random scrap with a hand painted. Excuse me, with hand painted letters scrawled in the back. Abandoned by Disney. Now there's the title. Turn a drop. Clearly, the handiwork. Is that how you spell handiwork? Yeah. It doesn't look right to me. Probably is right, though. Of some past local or an employee who wanted to make some small protest. Or Jeff the Killer. <laughs> it's always Jeff the Killer. He had stopped by with his best dis- best friend, Slenderman, to record it with his camera he'd stolen. The gates were open enough to walk through, but not drive. So grabbing my digital camera and the map, whose flip side showed a layout of the resort, I set off on foot. The inner grounds of the palace were just as overgrown as the entryway. Palm trees stood unattended, and ragged among piles of their own coconuts. Sounds a bit rude. <laughs> <laughs> sounds a bit dirty, if you ask me. So, sounds Ooh. a bit like bum, doesn't it? <laughs> Banana plants similarly stood in their own stinking, bug-riddled refuse. There was the sort of... Well, they rushed away for like ten years. ...between order and chaos, as carefully planted rows of perennial flowers mixed with obnoxious tall weeds and stinking blackened mushrooms. All that remained of any outdoor structures were broken. Rotting wood and various charred bits of unidentifiable material. What was most likely an information booth or an outdoor bar was now simply a pile of assorted debris, chopped up by past vandalism and ravaged by weather. Nothing funny to say here. The most interesting thing on the ground was a statue of Baloo, the friendly bear from the Jungle Book, which stood in a sort of courtyard in front of the main building. He was frozen in a jovial wave towards no one. Staring into empty space with a silly toothy grin as bird shit <laughs> covered whole swaths of his fur and vines ensnared his platform. Did he have blood red eyes? I love, it, like, I love the way Slime Beast does this a lot in his stories. Um, he'll use a lot of like, um, sort of again, like purple prose and like really nice imagery and then just like just drop like vulgarity in there somewhere. Just like, you know, the bird was shitting in Baloo's <laughs> mouth. The Sounds smile so on his face <clears throat> gave it as if he was approving that dirty, dirty boy. Tailspin! Yeah, I mean, that was DuckTales. You just shouted Tailspin. <laughs> oh, 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 that's Tailspin. I approached the main building, the palace, Same. only to find the outside of the building covered in graffiti where the original paint hadn't peeled and chipped away. The front doors weren't just open. They had been taken off their hinges and were stolen. Who steals a door? Honestly. Door. Who doesn't steal a door? Door fetishists yeah. steal ah, doors. Yes, Toby, course, we've yeah. been over Which this. all started with the uh, Loire bandwagon. Yeah. Yeah. Above the front doors, or the gaping moor where they had been, someone had once again painted, Abandoned by Disney. I wish I could tell you about all the awesome stuff I saw inside the palace. Forgotten statues, abandoned cash registered, full-fledged secret society of homeless bums, <laughs> dot dot dot, but no. The inside of the building was so stark, Tony so... Stark. So bare that I actually think people Ned had Stark. stolen the moulding off the walls. Anything that was too big to steal, counters, desks, giant fake trees, they were all resting amid this empty echo chamber that amplified my every step like a slow rat tat of a machine gun. What a strange simile. What strange words. Also, um, if he's going to call something an echo chamber, really this belongs on a Wattpad where everyone's nice about everyone's <laughs> shitty stories. I checked the floor pan and headed to all the locations that might seem in any way interesting. Oh boy, TV land! The kitchen was as you'd imagine, dot dot dot. An industrial food prep area with all the appliances and space. No expenses spared. And a black hole. Every, also, 
Massive wooden gates, no expenses spared. This is Jurassic Park. <laughs> I was expecting like he can get trapped in the kitchen, get attacked by some raptors. Go back and watch Jurassic Park and see how many times John Hammond says we spared no expense. It's more times than what you think. Every glass surface was broken. Every door knocked off its hinges. Every metal surface kicked and dented. So the entire place smelled like very old piss. Except this one window. The huge freezer, not even remotely cool now, had row upon row of empty shelf space. Hooks hung from the ceiling, probably for hanging cuts of meat, and as I stood inside for a moment, I noticed they were swinging. Each hook swung in a random direction, but the movements were so slow and small that it was almost impossible to see. But me, with my mega eyes, caught it as soon as I walked in the room. Because I am the world's greatest detective. I am Batman. I figured it had been caused by my footsteps, so I stopped one from swinging by clutching it in my fist, then carefully letting go. But within seconds it started swinging once more. The bathrooms were in much the same state as the rest of the place. I was like, they were like the hooks, the, bar, the toilets were swinging. <laughs> They're just, swaying back and forth slightly. Goes, oh no wonder this place is going to shut down. Just like the Treasure Island Resort, someone had methodically smashed each porcelain commode with coconuts and other implements. I don't think you could smash a toilet with a coconut. No, some coconut I think the coconut off. might lose that contest event. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. Though. Especially if it's the guy's just using the one. Maybe it was like, it was actually a story of the guy, you know, it's all been shut down, and one of those like, one last co coconut to hit the road. And he's like, alright, tries to crack it open on the desk. <laughs> That's not working. Massive, oh shit, oh good things going back. And then it's this whole hilarious story about this one guy trying to get this one coconut open. He smashed all the windows, <laughs> all the walls, all the sweat dripping off of his balls. And still he couldn't have cracked that coconut. One toilet? Oh, I see it, mate. There was about a half inch of rancid, stinking, stagnant water on the floor. So I didn't stay there for very long. What's <laughs> odd is that the toilets and the sinks, and in parentheses, and the bidets in the ladies' room. Yes, I went there. Oh. Pervert. I love the way he fucking wrote, I love the way he wrote, yes, I went there. And it kind of sounds like, not that like I went in the bathroom, but like, yeah, I went there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I went to the girls' one. And uh, I dressed up like a lady. I put, I tucked my dick back. Oh, look at me, I'm a lady. Yeah, I went there. <laughs> 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 All dripped, leaked, or just ran freely. Seemed to me that they should have shut the water off long, long ago. There were plenty of rooms in the resort, but naturally I didn't have time to look through them all. The few I did peer into were similarly wrecked, and I didn't expect to find anything here. I thought there was actually a television or radio in one room, as I really think I heard a quiet conversation coming out. Though it was like a whisper. Careless whisper. Probably my own mind breathing, echoing in the silence. Or just another case of the sound of flowing water playing tricks on my mind. This is what it sounded like. One, I didn't believe it. Two, th that, that sounds short like unknown reply. One, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Two, your father told you. One, unknown reply or possibly just weeping. I know, I know, that sounds ridiculous. Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. I'm just telling you what I experienced. Why I thought there might have been something running in that room, or worse, some vagrants who would hold up in there and probably would have knifed me. Why don't I investigate this abandoned place in the middle of nowhere? Oh wait, there's some, there might be some knifey homeless people about. Oh, good thing I, you know, brought my very stabbable jacket with me. At the front doors of the palace again, I figured I hadn't found anything of note and had, to, had wasted the trip up. As I looked out the door, I noticed something interesting in the courtyard that I had apparently missed. Something that would give me at least one thing to show for my trouble. Even if it was just a photograph. Look at this photograph! Why wouldn't you be taking photographs all the time? Like, there, did you buy, only buy a cheap disposable one? There is a lifelike statue. <laughs> oh, I, got, I pulled this out of a drawer, it's still got my last like holiday photos on it. <laughs> so I've got three shots, I really don't want to waste them. I think you take the last shot every once. Oh god, it takes Oh, I forgot to put the flash a on. A lifelike statue of a python, maybe 80 feet long, coiled up and s sunning itself on a pedestal right in the centre of the area. It was almost time for the sun to start setting, so the light fell on the object in the perfect way for a photograph. I approached the python and snapped a photo. Then I stood on my toes and snapped another. I moved closer again to get the detail of its face. Slowly, casually, the python lifted its head, looked directly into my eyes, turned and slithered off the pedestal, across the grass and into the trees. What? All 80 feet of it. It's a new paragraph, but they're talking about the same thing. All 80 feet of it. It had long disappeared into the woods before its tail even left the sunning spot. Disney had released all their exotic animals onto the grounds. Right there on my floor pan map was Reptile House. I should Reptile have, house. I should have known. Robot house! I'd read about the sharks at Treasure Isle. I should have known they'd done this. Should have known. Excuse me, I should have known they'd done this. I was dumbfounded, just utterly stupefied. 
My mouth what? must have been hanging open from the longest time before I came back down to earth and snapped it shut. I blinked a few times and backed away from where the snake had been, back towards the palace. Even though it was totally gone, I still wasn't taking any chances and backed my way into the building. It took a few deep breaths and slaps to my own face to get myself right in the head again after that. Surely though, oh, if waffles. this character, oh, we're going to call him Slime Beast, went there, he, he would have known beforehand that this is a very real possibility that he could have encountered a snake, so why is he suddenly getting well, really irate over finding Yeah, like, well, I'll go back to my paragraph of the homeless people, the stabby homeless people he thought he was going to run Surely into. Surely you're going to equip a knife Surely. or something. You know? Equip? He's not a fucking video game character. This does kind of feel like a survival horror, doesn't it? Like you've arrived at a scene after something's no, happened. It seems like, it's, like... Um, it's one you might get on Steam these days, like you just... It's Outlast! That's what it is! You've only got a camera! Like, it's a first person, like, spook em up or whatever they call them. Spook em up! <laughs> it's Slander the Arrival. Where are we? Alright, I don't know, but I'm really worried that Slander Moon is going to show up now, Toby, because you said his Steve name. Camera. No, I have to say it two more he's gonna times. He's going to show up and he's going to show up and do River Dance. And his proxy, Michael Flatley. I looked for a place to sit down, as my legs were feeling a bit like jelly at this point. Of course, there was no place to sit down unless I wanted to recline into the broken glass and dead leaf carpet or haul yeah. myself up onto a desk of questionable reliability. I had seen some stairs near the palace's lobby and decided to go have a seat there until I felt better. Wouldn't you be... You have to, well, I've just seen a fuck-off big snake that I thought was a statue. Time to get the fuck out of here. The staircase was far enough away from the front of the building to be relatively clean, save for a startling accumulation of dust. I pulled a wedge of metal off the wall, once again painted with the Abandoned by Disney motto I'd become accustomed to. I placed the wedge on the stairs and sat on, on it to keep at least somewhat clean. The stairway led downward, below ground level. Using my camera flash as a sort of improvised flashlight, I could see that the staircase ended in a metal mesh door with a padlock. You went to an abandoned building without a fucking flashlight, Jesus Christ. Like, so, like... I did, because I remember he was like, oh, I came up with this idea, and then a year later, I planned you it all out. You had a year of planning, and you didn't bring a fucking flashlight. Like, you're a moron. He didn't bring a flashlight, anything to defend himself against, like, the, you know, horde of homeless people. And it the clown. Probably didn't even tell anyone where he was going. Yeah, totally didn't. A sign on the door, dot, dot, dot. A real sign, dot, dot, dot. Read, mascots only. Thank you. Oh, it's about to turn into Five Nights at Freddy's. This perked it's getting a fucking up. book for some reason. Really? This yes. perked up my... Isn't it getting a film as well? Yes. So sad. This perked up my spirits a little bit for two reasons. One, a mascot's only area would have definitely had some interesting stuff back in the day. Dot, dot, dot. Two, the padlock was still in place. Nobody had gone down there. Not the vandals, not the looters, nobody. How do you know that someone hasn't already cracked open the lock, bashed it away in there, and then sort of like, gone, oh, this is awesome, I'll keep it for myself, and then got another padlock and locked it up? This is one place I could because actually, quote, episode. explore, and Apart perhaps from the other find part. something interesting to photograph or wantonly steal. I had come to the palace essentially agreeing with myself that it was okay to take anything I wanted because, hey, abandoned. By Disney. It didn't take much to bust the lock. Well, actually, that's bust wrong. Move. It didn't take much to bust the metal plate on the wall that the padlock was hooked to. Time and decay had done most of the work for me, and I was able to bend that metal plate enough to pull the screws out of the wall, something no one else had apparently thought of or hadn't been able to do at the time. Because you, you, I was going to say, your clock, Ken. The mascot's only area was a startling <laughs> so and very welcome change from the rest of the building I'd seen. For one, every second or third fluorescent light overhead was illuminated, even though they flickered and faded randomly. There's, there's still power yeah, to I was going to say, no way would there still be power. Also, nothing had been stolen or broken. Even if age and exposure were definitely taking the time. Mind you, the water's still running as well, isn't it? It's really weird. Uh, tables had no pads and pens. There were clocks, dot, dot, dot. Even a punch-in clock on the wall, complete with a fold-out time cards. Chairs were scattered around, and there was even a small break room with an old static-filled television and long-rotted-out food and drink on the counters. It's like one of those post-apocalyptic movies where everything is left in the state of evacuation. Or Fallout? Or the Marie Celeste. As I walked the maze-like sub-basement hallways of the mascots only area, the sights just became more and more interesting. As I went further, desks and tables were knocked over, papers scattered and almost melded with the damp floor, and a large carpet of mould was slowly overtaking the real rotting crimson floor covering. Ew. Everything was just sort of, quote, squishy. Anything wood disintegrated into mush when I applied even the least amount of force, 
and clothing items hanging on hooks in one of the rooms simply fell to moist threads if I tried to unhook them. What? One thing that annoyed me was the light was becoming more sparse and unreliable as I went further into the dark. <laughs> you fucking idiot. I'm so annoyed about this aban- 10 year old abandoned, uh, you know, like, complaints. The lights are getting up. I'm giving this a bad review of Metacritic when I get back. Metacritic? Fucking TripAdvisor, mate. <laughs> Ridiculous. How can you get annoyed? I mean, you should be surprised the fact that there is even fucking power still running. Or, Jesus. Or, you know, bring Where? a torch next time. Yeah. He didn't bring anything, apparently. He's no. got a camera. He just thought one day, you Which know, he used twice. I went further into the dank, suffocating depths of that place. Dank weed. Eventually... Dank you, Kang. I reached a black and yellow striped door with the words CHARACTER PREP 1 Stenciled Beware of bees! The door wouldn't open at first. I figured this was probably where the costumes were kept and I definitely wanted a photograph of that twisted stinking mess. Try as I might, whatever angle or trick I tried, the door wouldn't budge. What, what, what trick? Like, he pulls out a pack of cards, put it up the door, pick up a card. Oh, he's not falling for it. Is this your card? HOLY SHIT! That is, until I gave up and started to walk away. That was when there was a slight popping sound and the door creaked open slowly. Seeing as uh, I was a human being with common sense, I immediately ran the fuck away because a door that I couldn't get through suddenly opening means bad news. Possibly a hobo stabbing. Inside, the room was completely dark. Pitch black. Good Vin Diesel movie, you should watch it. I used the camera flash already. to look for a light switch in the wall by the door, but there was nothing. As I made my search, I was jarred out of my senses. Of it, um, I was jarred out of my sense You're of excitement by, by a loud electrical buzz. Rows of lights overhead suddenly flashed to life, flickering and fading in and out like the rest I had passed. It took a second for my eyes to adjust, and it seemed like the light was going to keep getting brighter until all the bulbs exploded. Dot dot dot. But just when I thought it would reach that critical stage, the lights dimmed a bit and steadied. The room was exactly as I'd pictured it. Various Disney costumes hung on the walls, fully put together like strange cartoon cadavers hung from invisible nooses. There was an entire rack of loincloths and native oh, clothes no, uh, uh, I'm on gonna hangers the stage towards for this the back. <laughs> loincloths, despicable. What I found odd, and what I wanted to photograph right away, was a Mickey Mouse costume at the centre of the room. Unlike the other costumes, it was lying on its back in the centre of the floor like a murder victim. It seemed to have... A viking head, but with Mickey ears. Also the centre in the centre. The fur on the costume was rotten and shedding, creating bear patches. What was even odder, however, was the colouring of the costume. It was like a f- photo negative <laughs> of the actual Mickey Ooh. Mouse. Here we go. Uh, okay. Black where he should be white and white where he should be black. Racist. So spooky. You know, it's African American. Re- reverse Mickey, holy shit. His normally red overalls were light blue. He's Mario. The site was off-putting enough that I actually put off photographing the thing until last. What? Why? I took a picture of the costumes hanging from walls, upward angles, downward angles, side shots to show an entire row of frozen, putrid cartoon faces, some with plastic eyes missing. Then I decided to stage a shot, just one of the bedraggled characters' heads on the slick, grimy floor. I reached for the headpiece of Donald Duck and carefully removed it so the thing wouldn't fall apart in my hands. As I looked into the face of the wide-eyed, mouldering head, a loud clattering sound made me jump with a fright. I shit at myself. I looked down at my feet, and there between my shoes was a human skull. It had fallen out of the mascot head and shattered into pieces at me feet. <laughs> I was Part- Northern! All along he was Northern! The mascot head and shattered into pieces at me feet. That's a matter. Hey, I, can't be- I can't believe he wrote me feet. Semicolon. Only the empty face and lower jaw remained, comma, staring up at me. I dropped to the duck head immediately, as you'd expect, and moved for the door. As I stood in the doorway, I looked back to the skull on the floor. I had to take a picture of it, you know? Yeah, yeah. I he's, had to. He's so frightened of it. Hattie. For any number of reasons that may seem silly, but only if you don't think it through. I, I don't think the story is calling for people to read it, for think, to think it through. I'd need proof of what happened, especially if Disney was going to somehow make this go away. I had no doubt in my mind, right from the start, that even if this was just gross negligence, Disney was RESPONSIBLE for this. <laughs> that's when Dis- that's when Mickey, that photo negative opposite Mickey, Nigga in mouse. the middle of the floor, started to get up. Oh, go away, really? What? First sitting up, 
then climbing to its feet, then dancing. The Mickey Mouse costume dot dot dot, or whoever was inside of it, stood there at the centre of the room, its fake face just staring directly at me Fuck. as I mumbled no dot 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 over and over dot dot dot. No 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 no. When sh with shaking hands, a violent thrashing heart and legs that once again turned to jelly, I managed to lift the camera up and aim at the opposite creature, now quietly sizing me up. The digital camera screen displayed only dead pixels in the shape of the thing. Ugh. It was a perfect silhouette of the Mickey costume as the camera moved in my unsteady hands. The dead pixels spread, marring the screen wherever Mickey's outline moved to. Then the camera died, went black and quiet, and dot dot dot, broken. I raised my eyes once again to the Mickey Mouse costume. Hey! It said in a hushed, Thanks, Toad. perverted, but perfectly executed Mickey Mouse voice. Wanna see my head come up? Ha <laughs> <laughs> It started to pull at its own head, working its clumsy glove-clad fingers around its neck with clawing, impatient movements, similar to a wounded man trying to pull himself free of a predator's jaws, dot, dot, dot. Predator. As it worked its digits into its neck, dot, 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 so much blood, dot, 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 S new paragraph. So much thick, chunky yellow blood. Dot, At dot, least dot. So, it's not red. So, Mega Mouse is filled with custard. I <laughs> turned away as I heard a sickening tearing of cloth and flesh. Dot dot dot. Only cared about getting away. Above the doorway of this room, I saw the final message clawed into the metal with bone or fingernails. Dot dot dot. Abandoned by Space Dad. <laughs> I never got the picture out of my camera. It says abandoned by God. Um, I never wrote that's what I said. the blog entry about it. After I ran from that place, fled for my sanity, if not for my very life, I knew why Disney didn't want anyone to go to know about this place. Really? Because I don't fucking understand what well, just I happened. I, no, I don't. No. They didn't want anyone like me getting in. They didn't want anything like that getting out. That's the whole story. All right. Um, shall we read comments before we give our thoughts? Or? Yeah. Uh, okay. Also, a somewhat xenophobic area of the southern USA. Brilliant. Your story was doing just fine. Dot, dot, dot. <sighs> so, that was the pro that was your problem with Abandoned by Disney? Was the, the xenophobic American. Stop the fucking presses! <laughs> Unholy Lord says, My absolute favourite. English, 10 out of 10. Not Bullshit! Really. Aside from the spelling mistakes and things we pointed out. There's Cre some... Creepiness! There's some time I haven't read this, but I don't see any problems. Creepiness, 10 out of 10. So creepy. Much creep. Scariness. Custard Mouse is terrifying. Scariness, 10 out of 10. One of the only pastors that actually scare you. Totally don't, scared Don't me. put you, all right? Don't speak for us. <laughs> that scared you, as in me. Write me. Don't write that. Don't, don't write you. Story. The story itself is down out of 10. Overall, 10 out of 10. This is the best pasta I have ever read. Go fuck yourself. Uh, Epic Armies, simply, it, it's a one word review. Whoa. Whoa. And, and dot dot as well so sort of emulating the author's style there spectacular 9 out of 10 one of the creepiest and eeriest passes of all time 9 out of 10 one of my favourites generally people really like it uh, what did we think of it well, um, right up until Custard Mega Mouse turned up I'd say about 6 7 it takes so long to describe a thing which is fair enough yeah I get that but all that build up for Neg Mouse really yeah. Come on! You could have had something better. Like I don't know. Uh, I could just left it up to the ambient. Hitler. You could, yeah, could just left it up to the ambience instead of Custard filled Neg Mouse. Yeah. Uh, what's weird as well is that once Custard Neg Mouse shows up, he just does a runner, and that's the end of the story. And like we're still left clueless. So it's like that it doesn't know whether it wants to be all mysterious. But then it throws a monster in there, and then it's still trying to be mysterious. I used this comparison once. Um, uh, on um on a podcast that I'm about to use, but I'll say it again because obviously more people watch this than watch the podcasts. Um, I actually I actually really liked it. I probably liked it more than you guys did. Um, for the most part, I thought though it had some problems like all creepypastas do. And I, I say I always say we're not grading on a curve, but if we were, were to compare this to other creepypastas, it a lot of them are dead on arrival. This one absolutely wasn't. But what it reminded me of is because it was atmospheric, but. You know when you're—it's really, not dead on arrival. It's got like crippling stab wounds. Yeah, you know when you're a kid and you're in creative writing class and you're doing really well, you're just lost in your story and it's it's really good work and you're really there. And your teacher goes, "All right, and you, you know it's got to be a complete story that you have to hand in." And your teacher goes, "All right, ten minutes left, guys." And you go, "Shit, I'm nowhere near finishing my story." And you go, "Fucking Mickey Mouse was there and he was inverted and his head came off and, and it was full of yellow blood." Yeah. And <laughs> because I'm really looking forward to lunch. Yeah, and yeah, because it's lunch. It's lunchtime after this period. That's what it felt like. It felt like he had a really good story and he lost interest. 
Um, and Mickey Mouse uh, returned to Valhalla, where he will slumber eternally. <laughs> Abandoned by Odin. I mean, it was all right, wasn't it? Now, basically, whenever I've got a... I mean, we've got, we got some re- laughs out of it, but... Also, I've got like a knee-jerk reaction to any creepypasta that basically will bring in God at the last minute. Like, you know, it's like, um, oh, what, this toy? It's like, I am God! Any of that shit. Yeah. It's, like, it's supposed to scare people. I think as well, it's... it's I think maybe because we're English and therefore most people in England aren't religious. Or not religious compared to Americans. Yeah, so we're not... It doesn't really resonate with English people too much, that kind of thing. But a lot of these stories are written by Americans. I think Slime Beast is American. Um... When the idea that God might have abandoned you will be evil or something. Yeah, like shit. that's scary to a lot of people who are interested in religion. But Where I think English, English it, people in you general... You just get on with it. Yeah, we're, uh, oh, dear, oh, oh, we're fine, not, I can go my own tea time. Yeah, we're not really interested in God because most oh, people oh, accept we got We got over that already. We've he, already had the... Uh, yeah. We've built enough cathedrals and we, he's not... You know. Yeah, I think most English people have accepted that he probably doesn't exist. So. Oh, 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 God's abandoned me. Thank God, now I can start masturbating. <laughs> Okay, so abandoned by Disney. Yeah, um, it was all right. Like we had a good laugh reading it, but honestly, it was okay. It was, nothing really... it was a shit ending and a couple of problems with it. But honestly, for this website, yeah, I can see why this hasn't been deleted. Then Jacob, why is it on bad creepy pasta? Is it just for the traffic? Oh my god! Oh my god! Boom! Season four, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much, guys, for checking out the first episode of Season 4. I really hope you enjoyed it. All in all, that wasn't one of the worst stories. That's probably the best one we've ever done, but we had a right laugh doing it. If you want to subscribe, click on the uh, subscribe button below. If you'd like to support us in any other way, we'd really appreciate it if you could hop onto Patreon and make a donation. If not, that's absolutely cool. Just leave a comment, share the video with your friends. Thanks ever so much, and uh, we'll see you next week with some more content.